Hello YouTube, this is Mayun J and today the purpose of this video is to show you how to root and also how to fix a few problems on this device. This is the uh, YoPhone i5s. This phone is also the same uh, model as the Zoo Phone i5s that I got from iBaby. Uh, this is the golden color. I got this phone from Effet, but as I mentioned, uh, this device is also the same as Zoo Phone. So for those who order the Zoo Phone or your phone can use this method to fix and root this device. Uh, um, first, I want to thank yous to uh, Tech Fusions. Uh, he's the one that showed a video on how to root the um, devices, especially the clones for the iPhone with Frama Root. So, in order to get Frama Root, first, of course, you have to be connected to your Wi Fi. Next thing you do is you go to the browser, and then on Google, you're going to search uh, for Frama Root. So, you're going to type Frama uh, Root, and then you can type the APK. And then once you hit search, you're going to select this, uh, the first option, which you see here says from our root from XDA. So once you uh, click on there, the website will open. And then what you do is you go all the way to the bottom until you see uh, the download links. And here we see uh, the latest one is at 1.8.0. So you're gonna click on here and it's gonna automatically download it for you, as you can see right here. And here you're gonna see the application from our root. Now, on this device, the weird thing about it is that even though it's gonna root it, you're not gonna see super user until you complete a reset. And later on, I'm gonna to explain to you why you're gonna need a reset. So before uh, you know you put any data on there, before you put any pictures, just make sure you back up everything because you will need to do a reset later on in, on this video. So first, we got a from a root. And then here, to root is actually very, very simple. And the great thing is that you don't need a computer. So you have to uh, select Boromir right here. And it's going to automatically do it for you. Then it's going to ask you, um, you know, reboot your device. You're going to select OK. But on this case, it's not going to reboot. OK. Now, after you have uh, rooted your device with Frama Root, what you're going to do is you're going to reboot your device. Once your device is turned off, you're going to turn it back on. Okay, now that your device has uh, booted up again, uh, you should, you might see a uh, super user on there, but if you don't see it, don't worry. That's because you're going to need uh, to reset the device later on in this video. Uh, but let's go ahead and um, find out whether or not we have root permissions. Uh, download Root Explorer because you're going to need it uh, in order to fix the uh, to fix the contact sync application issue. And uh, this will also uh, fix many other issues that uh, the device is encountering, such as uh, Google settings not installing. Uh, so now let's go ahead and find out if it has root permissions permissions and as you can see it has it even though we don't see super user so you're going to grant all right now next thing you're going to do is you're going to need to install about six um, applications into the system so i'm going to be providing a link below you're going to download that zip um, the zip file into your desktop and you're going to extract it just the way i did here on my computer which i'm going to show you right now the zip file is going to look just like this so what you're going to do is once you download it you're going to extract it and then you're going to transfer these files into your phone. Once you have done that, um, what you do is now you're done with your computer. So now you come back to your device and what you're going to do first is the following. You're going to go to system, you're going to go to app and here you're going to select, you're going to tap on this uh, little blue icon until it says RO. That will allow you to uh, delete the following applications and what we're going to delete first is if you scroll down, you're going to see uh, the vending application, which is called uh, Phone Sky. And you're going to go ahead and hold it. And then you're going to select, it's pretty hard to say here to read this, but you're going to select delete. And then the system is going to ask you whether or not you want to delete it. You're going to select yes. Now, once you have done this, uh, now the following steps are easy. So what you do is now you got to search on your SD card for the G apps that we already put into the SD card. So we're going to go back and then I have it on my uh, second SD card, the one that is installed on the device. So I'm going to go to MT and then SD card number two. And here you can see that I have the G apps. So you're going to open it 
and these are the uh, six applications that you're gonna have to install all right now the only thing is that you're gonna have to do them all manually so the first thing we're gonna start is with the uh, Google services framework so you're gonna highlight it and hold it and then you're gonna select copy once you select copy you're gonna go back uh, until you reach the main page you're gonna scroll down then you're gonna go to system and you're gonna go where it says app and here you're gonna paste it and even though it's gonna say warning um, it does exist you're gonna over um, overwrite it so you're gonna select yes then you go to Google services framework the one we just pasted here and you're gonna highlight it and you're gonna select permissions and you're gonna select the following permissions this is the same permissions that you're gonna use for all six applications so if you guys like I'm gonna do it one by one but you can fast forward this you're gonna do it for all six and you're gonna transfer them here into the app um, folder so we're gonna go back and we're gonna continue transferring all of them Now we're gonna do the Google Partner Setup, that, that APK. So same thing, we're gonna select Copy. And we're gonna go to System, App. We're gonna paste it. And then we're gonna find it and set up permissions. Let's see, it's this one right here. So we're gonna select um, Permissions. And we're gonna select the following, just as I did right here. Now we're going to continue with the next one. Now we're going to select the Google login service. Copy. We're going to go to system, app. You're going to paste it. Yes, I want to overwrite it. You're going to scroll down. And we're going to set up permissions. We're almost done here. Now this is the uh, Google Contact uh, Sync Adapter. So you're going to select Copy. We go to System, App. We're going to paste it as well. And we're going to set up permissions manually. Highlight it. Select Permissions. And we're going to select the same one. And then we're going to go back, we're going to go to uh, MNT, and then we're going to go to SD card 2. This is the calendar sync application. System, app, we paste it, scroll down. We hold it, uh, we put permissions. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna do the uh, vending application. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. This is gonna be the last one. And we go to system, app, paste, And this one is going to be actually on the C section. Let me see right here. Okay, and now we're going to select permissions. All right, and now we are done with this part. So now what we're going to do is uh, we got to perform a reset. So after you're done with uh, putting all the information on the system app, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to general. And then you're going to scroll down. And here you're going to go where it says reset. And you're going to reset your device. And here you go, hit reset phone. Erase everything. And now you're going to wait until reboots. Now this uh, is going to take about three minutes. And then after this reset, you're going to see super user. You're going to see uh, that after you log in into your Play Store, you're going to have the contacts on your phone, which is definitely a plus. Now, I know this is the, uh, you know, it's a little long process. You know, if you follow my direction, you should do it within 10 minutes. Uh, but I'm actually in the search of a ROM for this device so that I can edit it and uh, create a custom ROM or modify ROM.
for you guys so that it's easier uh, to do all these updates. This device is actually very nice. Uh, I like what I like the most about it is that it has the same measurements as the original, and even the color, the champagne color in the back, is actually uh, the closest to the original um, iPhone 5S. So that's definitely great. And here we see that the phone has booted up after the reset. First, I'm going to connect to my Wi Fi. We're going to turn it on. Let me go ahead and connect. So as you can see, I had connected to my Wi-Fi. Now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in into my uh, Play Store. So here I have logged in into my App Store, Play Store actually. And here you see that it's working well. Okay, so far everything seems okay. Now what we're going to find out is whether or not my contacts are on here. And as you can see, it is on here alright so that's definitely a plus so now we see that the contacts are syncing and that's actually one of the uh, things that I was concerned about and now everything is working well guys and as you can see here uh, super user is installed as I uh, told you guys that once uh, you do a reset it's going to install all the applications and everything now is working like a charm so like I said this device is very nice uh, it works actually pretty well and also YouTube is actually working perfectly well. It doesn't ask you about the uh, Google services application that needs to be installed. So everything's working perfectly well as you can see right now. So um, let's go ahead and find out if YouTube is working. So now what we're going to do is uh, let's search for something here. Let's just play any uh, video. Oh hey, fancy meeting you here on the internet. And as you can see, it's working perfectly well. Get the ad. So YouTube is working perfectly well. I'm very happy for this. And uh, this fix came um, automatically after I did the um, contact sync application fix. Uh, YouTube has started working, so I didn't uh, do it uh, purposely, but everything's working well. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, subscribe for more, comment below, and have a good one.